Hey yo everybody, Haku here, and it is Waifu Taimu once again, because uh, we're going to be doing my live reaction to um, Monster Musume no Iru Nichijo, Daily Life with Monster Girls, um, Mon Musu, Chapter 51. Now this says it came out two days ago, and I checked the site two days ago, because I check every couple days or whatever, um, just for like Mon Musu or 12 Beast or the few things that I cover that aren't really like... Um, released on a specific day of the month or week or whatever um but uh yeah i did not see this but apparently it was posted two days ago either way let's um go ahead and uh start reading i always say it i feel like i say every single time man i wish I, or i thought i'd have more time to um make that top waifu video before the story continued and then every month it happens and i'm like oh well I guess I didn't have enough time. Either way, still working on that. Uh, who knows when it'll be done. But either way, we have Chapter 51, The Vampire and the Harpy. And I really like this cover. I like when Okiyato does, um... I like when he uh, does the sort of simple white background with the characters. He did it for the one... The one chapter with, uh... What was it? Key, Polt, and uh, Tio in the uh, woods or whatever. That was a good one. During the Monfest arc, I believe it was. I liked that one a lot. Uh, but either way, we see Batwing Hands. Hello, Bat Hands. Cooley, says uh, Poppy looking up. Alright. And then, oh, she is quite vampire triggered. She flies away. Poppy flies after her. Cooley, wait. And then she crashes. Ugh, I can't see too good at night. Huh? Aren't you? I knew it. You're the harpy girl from last night, and we see the owl harpies. What are you doing out here? Huh? Um, uh... Wow. Even though it's d er, even though it's dark, I can see, and we see she's remembering back to when she tried on the goggles. Ah, hey, uh, those. Those, um, glasses. Let Poppy borrow them, okay? Glasses? These? No, not those. Um, the ones that let you see good. Glasses do make it easier to see, huh? Says the one, um, Al Harpy. Yeah. Uh, no, I meant, uh, night vision goggles for harpies. And then she, um, grabs one. Sorry, I'm gonna borrow these for a bit. What? You... Hey, wait. So she flies off, we see this old abandoned church. This is actually really nice, um... I really like this artwork. I just love the, um, specific... Yeah, specific style that Okiato draws in. Okay, I think I think Cooley flew over here, but Cooley, where are you? Uh, and then we see her still in vampire mode. Pa, Poppy, Cooley, answer me. I know you're here, Cooley. Please don't hide. Come out. Hubby's here too, right? Please come out, please, Cooley. You're Poppy's friend, right? I really like the bat hands. Yep. That is a much, 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 much different look than she had before. Hello, Cooley. Yo. I like how she has the, like... I like the way the feet look, too. That is a really cool design. Man, Okiato makes everything better, including vampires. And I like the way the... Like, she doesn't just have bat hands but like the arms are like really long and skinny and she has the uh wing flaps like all the way down her body it's it's a really cool design poppy why did you follow me here yo smexy coolly stay back poppy there's another side of me you don't know poppy you've only seen this facade i put up that's why you call me a friend but the real me is a blood-starved, savage species, a vampire. Besides, I can never... I can never take back what I did to that person whom you hold so dear. Okay? Moving along. That's why you have to leave me alone. Don't call me your friend anymore. Poppy is... Not so good at remembering names. This one time I called Mia Mira. And I called Centoria Kentoria, and recently I started saying Meros instead of Marone. 
I'm bad with maps, so I always get lost, and Huffy has to find me. <laughs> if you see him calling Poppy, where'd you go? And she's holding the map upside down. I'm bad at studying, too. I can't remember anything, so Mia always gets super mad at me. So that's why. Everyone says, Poppy sure is a dummy. But Poppy ends up thinking, and Poppy ends up thinking, that's true, huh? But, um, so, huh, um, <laughs> I can't remember what we were talking about, but, but Poppy might not be too smart, but I'll never forget the really important things. Cutie is my friend. That's really important, so I'll never forget it. Even if you don't want me to, Poppy will always call Cutie her friend, okay? Because... Cutie is a super important friend. Poppy, honestly, you really are a dummy. Eehehe, <laughs> I got called a dummy again. This is the first time you didn't mess up my name. Huh? But I never messed up your name. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love the relationship between the two, though. This has been an actually... This has been a really good arc. Just between the jokes and stuff and this actual um, specific storyline, it's been good. Uh, no, please, any time but now. Uh-oh, she's getting vampire triggered. What's wrong, cutie? Wah! And then, looks like she's gonna <clears throat> bite Poppy. Yeep! Oh, yep. We have the, the etchy time. N no, stop it, cutie. Then, very much etchy, um, neck licking. Cutie, cutie, what's wrong? All of a sudden, you... Cutie is currently sleeping, she says. Eh? She has the most severe daddy issues in the entire world. Oh my gosh. I know we are the one who shall restore this family in place of our failure of a daughter. We are the one who shall answer the true calling of the vampire. Humanity's blood shall become our nourishment. However, they shall not become like unto us. They neither possess, or they possess neither fangs nor wings. We have no use for such weakness. The vessels fit for our blessing are the strong species: war beast, lamia, devil, and harpy. Ah, interesting. We shall become the cornerstone of our species' return to prosperity. Ah, so they're trying to bring vampires back by turning, um, like uh, turning uh extra species people into them rather than weak pathetic humans. Then she uh bites her own arm instead of Poppy. Cutie, cutie you truly are a most displeasing daughter intent on betraying her father. However, I will not suffer further selfishness. And we see um the scythe coming in. G God of death, Adilahan He looks over and Lala's just standing there. Why is she the dead shall have no more dealings with the living. Thou who should, shouldst, <laughs> whomst of de, shouldst passed on, shall not be suffering to hinder the living. W wait, return to thy rightful resting place. And we see uh, her father getting exercised, and then the locket falls off of um, Cutie. Looks like Saria showing up. Yep, and she's with Mero. What was that just now? I feel as though we've witnessed something incredible, but... Hmm? Did I just step on something? Oh, Saria just crushed the locket, didn't she? Yep. Yep. Okay, moving along. Mia, what are you doing? I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I definitely didn't just see that. There's no such thing as ghosts. There's no such thing as ghosts. Of course, because Mia's afraid of everything supernatural. Oh, I thought I saw Lala-sama for a moment, but... Really? Well, she is good at making herself deathly scarce, and she's just hiding around a corner. Cutie, are you okay? Poppy, I had always lived just how my father commanded me. Even after he passed away, I still... But now... Now I'm alright. I'm alright now, Poppy. Thank you. Ah, I see now. <laughs> it seems all the commotion about a dangerous species was that ghost doing after all. So we don't have to worry anymore, right? I, I'm so sorry. It's possible while I was unconscious, I... I didn't do something terrible, did I? N no need to worry. After seeing all that, we would not tell a soul. Ah, uh, no, not that. It's just, actually, I... Poppy's hu hubby, I sucked his blood and he's already... And everybody's shocked faces. Huh? 
What are you all doing here? He says walking up. D darling, are you unharmed? Huh? I mean, I'm fine, but... What? Then why didn't you answer your phone? I tried calling from the house, but no one picked up. But but I lost my phone. Ah, uh, we were tailing Kyori, so we had our phones on silent mode. Mm, what's in that bag, Cesaria? Oh, this? Since that girl looked pretty anemic, I made a bunch of stuff with a lot of iron in it for her. <laughs> like we see uh, spinach and liver. Alright. See, I told you. Does someone who... Does someone who just got attacked normally care about their attacker's health and make them lunch? I must have sucked his blood and turned him into some kind of vampire thrall. This is the cross I must bear from now on, even though I'm a vampire. Well, yes, yeah, Cesaria. I suppose that is not normal, but... This is Darling we're talking about. Same here, yeah, Nero and Mia. Huh? What? But he's covered in bite marks, and he looks like he was dying of blood loss. What? Wait, so is he... The, these are, um, it's okay. Hubby's not going to turn into a vampire because cause no matter what happens to him, he never dies. What? Really? Well, I guess that's that for now. <laughs> if that's the case, dear sir, we should do our best to enjoy the rest of the expo, should we not? Hmm? Hey, Mero, that's that new wheelchair, isn't it? We were all so panicked I didn't notice till now. Oh, this? That is, Mother went and... That's not fair, you said all that stuff earlier. So I held off on buying the tail massager. Those sneakers, I should have. The, then let us all go out shopping together then. And then he looks, huh? Where's Sue? And then Sue's wonder, wandering around. Papi, Mia, Centoria, Me Mero, where are you? And then she seems to see somebody or something. A new slime. At least it seems like, that looks like when we first saw Sue. Doble Slimes next issue. Okay, well that was that was that was pretty fun, honestly. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the live reaction. It was a pretty darn quick one, but I actually really really liked that one. I like the storyline that's been going on with Poppy and Cutie a lot, um, and especially now seeing Cutie's design without the stuff on. Woof! Like ah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I might rewrite my, um, I might rewrite that video to add in the Bloodsucker Trio and, um, and Curie. Just because I feel like I could, I'm halfway through writing it, but I feel like I could take the stuff I've already written and just rearrange it, and it's been so long that I've been writing it over a time period that I think maybe redoing it and taking a fresh look at it and changing some things might actually be good for the video as a whole. So I'm still going to do the Top Waifu video. I'm just going to... Oh, ah, man, I'm hoping there's only a few weeks left and I'll be able to do it because the next few weeks shouldn't be that heavy on videos for me. So I'm just really, really hoping I'll have time to finish it. Um, and I think maybe rewriting will give me the motivation to take whatever free time I have and really, really push to try and finish it. So uh, either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will do a review, I'll read this a few more times, uh, make some notes and stuff and do a review, uh, discuss what I thought of the different parts of this uh, tomorrow, um, at least hopefully tomorrow, we'll have to see how things go, maybe Friday, but probably tomorrow. Uh, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, like if you did like it, comment down there, tell me what you thought of this uh, this chapter, what you thought of my first thoughts, my reaction to it, subscribe for more Monster Musume no Iru Nichijo, 12 Beast, a ton of manga, a ton of anime. Many, many different things on the channel. Um, I guess as well, follow on, uh, what? Yeah, follow on Twitter if you want. I'll, I'm trying to be more active there. I'll try to uh, talk to you guys there as much as I can, keep you updated there on stuff for the channel. Either way. Um, either way. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you all next time.